Welcome back to you, Kelly. I hope you had a great break. Had a great time, yes. Excellent. Yeah. She caught up in Waiheke. But it's a very special welcome to Tilly, who's going to be your trainee this morning. Yeah, she's kind of gone to sleep now. Because of course she has, because <laughs> you needed to do some work. Yeah. First up though, Holly, tell us a little bit about Tilly. How old is she and what breed is she? Well, I'm a bit in love, as you can tell. I'm, I'm actually jealous that Kelly's got her on her knee right now and <laughs> she's she... falling asleep. She's um, 13 weeks old. Um, she's cro uh, Laosh and cross with a toy poodle. Um, and um, she's just a bundle of joy. You know what's really funny is that that is the exact breed of dog that I have. I might have been copying. You yeah. might have been copying, <laughs> but my dog actually looks quite different. Um, Kelly, at this age, what is it that we should be trying to teach our puppy? I say our collective cafe yeah, puppy. It's ours. She is. All, all belongs yeah. to all of us now. Um, the first thing really which a lot of people don't do because they're so overwhelmed by everything they think they should be doing is actually teaching their puppy their name. Oh, okay. Is yeah. it an easy thing to teach your dog your name? You know, it is actually. It's very, very easy, but um, some people can find it a little bit tricky. <laughs> okay. So, what if you have a rescue dog and you want to change their name? Uh, really simple to do. I actually, when I had Sizzle, I got him at ten months of age, and um, his actual name was Joey, which I thought was a little bit boring for a sausage dog. And um, so, yeah. So it just took me a, a week or so just to get him into the notion that I wanted him to be called Sizzle. No, <laughs> Joey, you're. <laughs> Sizzle. Um, so why do, we, why do we have to teach our dogs their name? Uh, basically to get their attention. Um, if you think about yourself, you know, if you're on your mobile phone texting away and, you know, someone sits next to you and starts chattering on, um, that you actually don't realise that they're actually talking to you unless they say Mel. Yes, well, see, know? we had this problem up <laughs> because one of our cameramen is also a Mel, so, so we often get the Mel and we both sort of look, look around, just like, just like good, well-trained puppies. So what common mistakes do people make when they're trying to teach their dog their name? Oh, look, the biggest one is um, people as human beings we love to repeat and if that's not working we like to say it louder and we hope that works so with my children yeah <laughs> so so most people if we use Tilly as an example you know it will be to say a name and you'll be like Tilly and the next thing it's like Tilly Tilly and then it's like Tilly <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so you know the dog in the end is just like eh, white noise who cares that is exactly <laughs> my children put your shoes away put your shoes away put your shoes away and they still don't hear it um, so what can go wrong if you don't teach your dog their name uh, more than anything number one you're not going to get their attention whatsoever and so what tends to happen is people will say the dog's name the dog's not listening but then they're trying to get the dog to sit or lie down or you know get something out of the, especially a puppy, out of its mouth and it's now ran off. So, um, you know, the reality is if they're not looking at you when you have said the animal's name, they are not listening and they don't care. There's so many similarities <laughs> between the, the I, I puppies need to, and my kids. I need to cut in here. She's obviously like a super intelligent puppy beyond her years. I mm -hmm. mean, obviously well, genius parent, level. Of course. <laughs> um, because she already can sit. She's at university level. She is she? already. She's doing the sitting thing. I don't know if she knows the name, though. I think it's just what you said. I just say it louder and louder. What are you doing with your surrogate puppy, too, by is, the way, there? This is Snuffleupagus. It's her favourite. Just in case she was really upset and Kelly couldn't control it. She's obviously, obviously doesn't need it. Yeah. Um, I think we should get some practical advice now. Can you show us what we should be doing? Can we teach Tilly her name? Yeah, let's see if she'll wake up. That's the first thing. <laughs> and uh, if she, you know what it's like working with animals. You oh. never know what they're going to do. She quite um, likes treats, though. She, she likes loves, her food. Yeah, and we tried these That's earlier, hollow. didn't we? Yeah. So she was really into these very smelly, uh, pokey mm, treats. Great on the fingers, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, so all we do is, um, I'm actually going to pop her down if I can, sorry, just to disrupt the studio. Not disrupting, do you want me to hold her? Can hold it, can hold it, can hold it. I on the floor, go, actually, go, 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 when she me, stopped me. rolling around oh. and causing chaos. Okay, because we've got all the time in the world. Yeah, yeah. No, it's all right. It doesn't matter if they're trying to tell you to hurry us up in the <laughs> control room. We don't care. Okay. All right, so we'll just pop her down. And then all we're going to do is, as um, soon as she just looks away, if she's not <laughs> focusing on my hand, that's better. Tilly. And you can see then she starts to look up at me. Ah, oh, so it's that simple. Oh, you're so gentle with your treats. Her little I told you she's her genius. Her little paws can't actually get on the on oh, the floor. She's got no traction. No. Okay. Oh, she looks gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to do the outro. You just keep doing your thing. To download Kelly's top tips on teaching your dog their name, go to the Cafe Facebook page to get your free handout. Also, you would see lots of photos of Tilly because there are a heap there, and there'll be more.